Hey. Silent departure. Yep. I want to think twice. Yeah. I mean, your think twices are always up against like better cards. Burning They're vengeance. Not tabling either. Okay, this is more important than deranged assistant number two. Yeah, but there are some good blue things in here. Hopefully, one of them will table. Yeah. If any of them table, it would be great. I need more flashback spells. <clears throat> really. Yeah, you have enough creatures. Now you kind of need to focus on flashback. Like, that's also why I was thinking travel prep. Yeah, no, no, no. I thought about that afterwards, but... And I think that you could have been right. I just... Eh. I don't know. This guy's... Who knows? Useful, too. It was, I'm pretty sure he's correct. Yeah, I only have one grotto. Yeah, I mean, you have two travel ambulance, but it's not like you're actually going to play a planes. Mm -hmm. This kind of sucks. Yeah, it kind of does. I mean... Lame. Yeah, I don't really even know what you would take here. I mean, you could take another Fortress Crab. I feel like anything I take, I'm just taking it out of the draft. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to play it. Well, no, no. I think... Uh, I could take another crab. I, think I might. You, I think that that's just the best pick. Like, you might play it. Yeah. It might be good against some people. It's begrudging, but, like, whatever. Heron, I guess. Yeah. Dream Twist is exactly Important. what you need. And what? Important. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to get any... Think twice, but here's a forbidden alchemy. And you have a grotto. Or do you think I should take the scab Goliath? Um, no. No. Forbidden alchemy. Yeah, this is more important. I just wish I had another think twice. This is really uncomfortable. Yeah. Here's dream another twist. dream twist. That's there a lot better. Yeah, okay. I feel better about this now. Yeah. <clears throat> I might just take the next. Nightbird's clutches, I see. <laughs> you could you could float a mulch. I already have a mulch. Yeah, you could float another one. Like, what else would you... Like, there's nothing in this pack. You could take a cobbled typhoid wings. rats. You don't need a cobbled wings. And I need... <laughs> I need uh, ancient grudge targets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a wolf. Sure. Get out of here, wolf. You're ours now. What? Vampire interloper. Okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Man, you didn't get any Geist Flames either. I know. It's this time you got the Burning Vengeances, but you just didn't get any cards to flash back. Yeah, that seems a lot worse, well, honestly. Yeah, you have like a Silent Departure. I have a few. I have... You have some good ones. Yeah. <laughs> just so many Ancient Grudge targets. Hey, why not? Maybe I'll make a wish. Don't do it. I don't think I'll do it. Don't you dare do it. Yeah, this deck's weird. Yeah. <clears throat> it didn't come out great. No. But, but it seems it's, okay. It's playable. Like, I could definitely, you know, get yeah, you there. Don't, you don't need green. You should hide your green. Yeah. Oh, and you could play, like, Traveler's Amulet to, like, get a swamp. Yeah. That seems fine. Yeah. You know what, like, I have the Temblor, which I'm not really thinking about because it costs so much to flash back, but flashing back rolling Temblor and having at least one Burning Vengeance on the table is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you just played Drop Dot Wave. <laughs> yes. Oh, don't forget your rune chanters, Pike. Oh, Pike. Pike My it up. amulets. That's too many amulets. Probably, yeah. <laughs> you don't even care. You're a wild woman. I'm a madman. You're a madman. All right, this is a lot of cards. Curse of the only blue card you're not playing. 
Which is the only blue card I'm not playing. Oh, that one. That <clears throat> curse. Oh, if you're not splashing green, that memory's journey. Well, hmm. I suppose you can shimmering grotto. Oh yeah, I will be shimmering grottoing. <clears throat> you have a lot of spells there. Okay, these are my guys, and my not Yeah, that guys. grasp was definitely correct. You were right. What was the other option? Oh, Murder of <clears throat> murder Crows. Of crows. Yeah, no. I mean, Murder of Crows is... This is so broken in this archetype. Yeah. Also, I could feasibly be green. Like, I really don't have that many red cards, and they don't have a huge red commitment, except for flashing back Temblor. Yeah, but, like, do you want to do that to your mana base? I mean, I'm looking at the green cards right now, and I think the answer is just no, because there's nothing there. Yeah. But, you know what? I'm probably going to play, like, one forest for the Memories Journey. And I it thought won't you were going to play you know? one swamp for Forbidden Alchemy. I'm going to do both, because I don't what? have a huge red commitment. That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. Does this guy even do anything? <clears throat> like, kinda. Just main deck Ancient Grudge. Just do it. He just triggers these two. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, if they have a big thing, he can just mm -hmm. make chump lockers out of your walls. I wish I had a Selhoff Occultist. Yeah. But yeah. I wish you had a lot of things. I have some things. I have, like, 26 cards. There's too many things, frankly. I think you could cut the Stitcher's Apprentice. Yeah, he's kind of <clears throat> lackluster. Yeah. Let's see. I feel like this is better in this archetype than you give it credit for. Okay. Because, like, I have the potential for doming people out with stuff like this. I don't know. He's not great with rolling tumbler. Nope. That's a certainty. <clears throat> see, that second fortress crab looks pretty nice in here. Yeah, it does. That's good. That's a nice complement of walls. Like, I think that you're in good shape, actually. Even though some parts of this deck aren't really Yeah, cohesive. because uh, the wall part can get me to a point in the game where I could have it come together. Yeah. Do you think I should play one amulet? Yeah. You could feasibly play 16 lands. I With don't... amulet and deranged assistant... You think that's crazy? It's not that crazy, but I just, like, this you deck is mana-hungry, you know? Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, two cards to cut. They would be... Uh, I really don't want to cut Runic Repetition. Correct. <laughs> Man, wish we had another thing to I don't really want to cut this pike either. Yeah, I know, right? That would be so good. <clears throat> also, in retrospect, oh, what are you... Goliath. This guy? Yeah. You're only running 11 creatures, and you already have a Stitch Drake. Yeah. And he's 6. Like... It's fine. Yeah. In retrospect, what do you think of taking the thing twice over that looter? I don't know. I mean, like I'm very happy twice. with this in retrospect, but yeah, I mean, at that point, we didn't know that we were gonna like not get that many flashback cards. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. But Maybe... like knowing what we know now, would you have taken the think twice? I guess. Okay. I, I mean, I'm still not 100%. That's fine. I'm just wondering. Because, like, he keeps digging. Uh, this is tough. Do you think I should just play 16 lands? <clears throat> I thought your deck was mana hungry. It is! But I do have the amulet and the assistant, as you said. Yep.
I don't think that's crazy. I'm gonna see what happens. Four moto. You want to add Grotto and two other lands, right? Oh, you yeah, you can't. What do you mean? Because you're gonna. And you uh, wait. It, does that account for Grotto as well? No, it does not. I can see going down to four. <laughs> no, that's too little. Yeah. I'm gonna cut another card. Yeah. Is that or I just don't play this forest? But the forest seems good. Yeah. I think that flashing back memories journey is more important than flashing back forbidden alchemy. Probably, yeah. In that case, what do we cut? You don't want to cut Rage Thrower, right? I think it's good, and I have few kill conditions in this deck. However, I could see cutting it. I mean, he's just the guy that I'm looking at. I mean, you have what do you think three of giant of flying guys. No. No? No. I think those crabs are going to be great for you. Okay. I think you have three big flyers and two burning vengeance. I mean, I know that... I think that... Yeah. yeah. I just feel like he's not that necessary. <clears throat> this is so few <clears throat> creature threats, though. But, like... Oh, this guy is one, too. This guy. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That's just my take on it. I could see trying to keep in Rage Thrower. It's just your other cards you know are so much better. I feel like I would play this over Rage Thrower, really. Hmm. But. Yeah, everything here is very good. Yeah, like, so you don't want to cut the Traveler's Amulet. Like, you don't want to cut any of the cards with Flashback, obviously. Mm -hmm. Or the Burning Vengeance. Runic Repetition is basically a card with flashback. Yeah. Rune to Kendra's Pike, we've played, and it's great. Yeah. We know it's good in this archetype, and travel is amulet you need for your mana. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, really, I could see cutting one of my walls, but you seem to think it's a bad idea. I mean, I guess you could cut the Fortress Crab, and then just sideboard it in if you, if you need it. If you really want to play the Rage Thrower, then I guess that's the card to cut. Like, you do have three three-drop walls. Right, and a four-drop wall. Yeah. I feel like having four walls, four threats is safer than having five walls, three threats. But okay. I am not sure. You know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I mean... The reason why I think the walls are more important is because, like I said before, the problem that this deck has is staving off the early threat, yeah. and you win in the long game. Yeah, that's why that's I feel true. like Rage Thrower is unnecessary. Okay, and I have the, the pike. This makes yeah. anything so. All right. 